morning, how I guys. My morning. How we started our morning. Um, Welcome to today. Okay, well, y'all ready? Yeah, we're all ready. I got no bra I on. Bed. Oh, great. All right. Oh let's my go. god. All right, so catastrophe in the field. Raining. Oh, so it barely. Oh, I'll show you. Girl, Gabby, go that way. Gabby, Freaky's go that way. Fine to catch. She likes yeah. She's not fine to catch. Yes, she is. No. She likes being caught, Mom. Ew. Yeah, you but in the, field. in the past when she's been free. Oh my gosh. So I don't know how long this Summer has been. And I don't know how it happened. Night. After they Hopefully, like it's dark in the morning now. You dad wouldn't even notice. She's probably hungry. Thanks for noticing, Sophie. Well, I always look out the window to see how ponies are doing. Hi, little girly. Oh, what a good pony. Good girl. See, just birds. So, how long do you think she had their birds um, right there? A long time. Oh my goodness. What you doing? Like and how did you get out? She's like, if you're not coming oh, to me, no, look at her. Oh, our pony. I'm trying to get you a friend, and when I do, I'll be down in the barn to take care of you every single morning. So, horses that aren't eating grass and then suddenly eat grass for how God only knows how it's long. Like bushes. I know that's that's how you get into to colic watch. She's like, you guys are not giving me enough food. Cause they're on, oh no, they're on a diet. How, 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 how? Better her than Willow. Better her than Willow, Willow got out. When we brought the other home horse home before, I don't know if we vlogged it, but Willow got out in the back. So it wasn't that big of a deal. I'll go turn on the lights and get grain. Wasn't that big of a deal. We need to brush them. But like. But we couldn't catch her. She was in the back, so it was safer. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Clearly, we're not ready to be up yet. <laughs> but that's okay. Also, um, we the girls heard another cat. They could see both of our cats yesterday, and they heard another cat. So we think that the other cats have come to live with us. That happens sometimes. Hello. Gracie, how'd you get out? We need to know. Girls are going to check. All right, you are green. See, I don't. I remember. And you are purple. Oh, Gracie, what are we gonna do with you? Girls are looking. She's really gonna need a brush. Yeah. So our field. Just when I want to bring another horse home, I don't know what's happened. Like, I guess it's all the rain we've had, but. Our field has never been a swamp. This field, we've always been able to put hay up there where it's dry. It's not dry anymore. It has like a natural slope. Sophie's really worried she's gonna fall. So we think this must be where it happened. There's, There's like- There's over there too. Yeah, so how do we fix this? Um, See, it's just laying on the ground, this one. I actually would like to learn how to build fences and I think we need to like put some better fencing up before yeah, winter. Like wood. Yeah, before winter. <laughs> I also noticed that, that wherever the ponies aren't is not all torn up, so it must be from them running around. Maybe it's time to put them in at night now. She could have went missing. Most of our property is fenced in though, but where she was, was not. But she was eating grass. I know, but soon there will be only snow. Aw, Gabby fed them inside. I'm so glad. I don't like them in mud. I'm. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wanna have horses in mud, but obviously they're in mud. I just dropped the camera. <laughs> it's never a good thing when you drop the camera. Anyways, no, let's just give them a quick no, brush. Like it, I know, because no, I, I fumbled it. it. Yeah, Gabby's not dressed properly. Yeah, we didn't even have time to have breakfast. All right, we'll come back down. I didn't even have We're coming back down anyways, because you wanna line drive Willow with her new bridle. Well, I'm working with her new bridle first yeah. to get her used to the bit and everything. Yeah, okay, all right. So the horses are fed. I'll be back, horses, to uh, pick up your poo. Like, we don't give them very much hay, and they're still really chubby. I don't know. Getting better now that I laid down the law with Sam. Anyway, whoops. We'll be back. Oh, I forgot to plug it in. Oh, good Lord. So I think we fixed the problem. Not the problem of how I look in the morning, but this is real life. Um, I think I fixed the problem. I'll get Sam to check it when he gets home. 
and pray that this rain stops soon. It's raining for days. So what, you know what I was doing when that happened? So when I wake up in the morning, I always do all the comments. I was like read my comments and I do that because I enjoy it and it's the part of my day that I have time to do that. So I was doing that and then I watched an Ace Family video. You guys know Ace Family. Everybody does. No. Um, and anyway, what happened with them, if you missed it, was that they were posting, they posted, uploaded a video the other day and they left in a clip where they were kind of fighting a little and people were all freaking out which is fine. So people were all freaking out and saying that like the husband is an abuser, blah, 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 because he was arguing with his wife. Come on, Ruby. Oh, Bye. dogs are here. Come on. Bye, Ruby. Come on. And so they made this video today saying like they were fighting for a few seconds before they started and that she was screaming at him and then he was like acting bad, but they cut most of all that out. The point that they were making today was that their video is about positivity and so that's all they show is the positive happy side which I think it's really admirable that they admitted that that's all they want to show and that they're real people and have a real life underneath all that because in this world right now there's so much stress there's so much stigma and there's so much pressure to be in this world right now there's so much pressure to be better than you are to always look better than you are family. I'm talking about a different family because they set a good example today I don't, I don't watch them they set an example saying that even though they are real people and have real life problems and argue and fight, just like everybody what? else, that their channel is about positivity and then that's why they show it. That's, that's the only reason that they only show it. So I think that's so super important. But anyway, let's go up to the house and get dressed because I'm still in my pajamas. Okay. You are dressed though. Yeah, I peed the bed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I love you, Sophie, because it is good to let people know that accidents happen. Did you have a bad dream? Like a dream you were peeing? Yeah. Yeah. In the toilet. In the toilet. Oh, gosh. Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> Molly's like, oh, come and I'll bring you a present. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed, but every single dog in our house turned their head to me. Even Molly sleeping up on the couch. I don't know if you could see her. Maybe. Um, Macy, sorry. Every single dog notice me. Let's try it again. All right, everybody pay attention to the dogs. Come on. Come on, puppies. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Molly, I don't mean like come right into my mouth. Stop. So Molly comes a little bit too much. This dog comes a little bit too much. Macy was over there looking at me. Daisy just made a run for it. So what does that prove? You ask nothing, absolutely nothing, but I want to show you this. I've been really thinking about this a lot lately and I wanted to show you guys a couple of things. So this is Daisy. You guys know she's Sophie's brand new Dalmatian dog. Uh, we bought her from a breeder and the breeder has all this paperwork and she, I contacted her today and what she actually had said to me was that both of her parents have been tested for deafness and in Guelph, which is quite far away from us. It's the only place she said that does it. And neither of them are deaf. And also some past puppies. I thought she said the puppies were tested. What she said was that men, some of the past puppies have been tested and they've never had a deaf puppy. So we thought we did really great homework in trying to discover if our puppy would be deaf. But lately I've had some questions about it and some reservations. Now watch this. Okay, so hold on here. In about a couple of in a couple of seconds, I'm going to tell Sophie to bang those pots really loud, and we're going to watch Miss Daisy and see what she does. Just wait; she's looking at you. Okay, go ahead. So I saw a flicker of one ear. Did you see a flicker of one ear? Yeah. Okay, now stand up and do it. Go behind over here where she no, isn't looking. On the floor. No, because I don't want her to see the vibration. Okay, so Sophie's going to change position. She's keeping her eye on Sophie, though. Okay, now watch. Well, see? Like, okay, so I don't know. It seems a bit inconclusive because she does kind of register, but I don't think she's. Even now. She's still doing the same thing, but it's because she's watching Sophie. She's waiting to see if Sophie's going to be interacting with her. 
She's had a really rough morning. This morning, <laughs> I got her in trouble for something. Ooh. I'm gonna explain that too, and in the, in the trouble that we're having with Daisy. Normally, we don't have trouble with puppies because we've been there, we've done it, we've done Molly. so many things. Like, we have, in the past, rehabilitated dogs for our local shelter so that they can become adoptable. Like, you name it, we've done it. And this dog seems to be Rock, like, Rock, yeah, basically, when we call her, she never responds. She sleeps deep, so deep that she only wakes up if some, like, one of the dogs comes and jumps on her. If we touch her, she doesn't wake up from us moving around her. Like, she sleeps deep, deeper than any dog I've ever known before. She also sleeps all the time. Better the last few days. Better the last few days. But she does sleep all the time hours and hours and hours more than any other puppy she's so content in her crate oh, i've never seen another puppy so content in her crate i don't think she ever cried a single time in her crate oh, oh she heard that so if you guys saw when they were squeaking she was closing her eyes. They were squeaking, making that awful squeaking noise, and she, her eyes were dropping, and she was about to fall asleep, but then Gabby banged the pots, and she heard that. She definitely heard that. <laughs> oh, she heard it! She heard that! Good girl! She's deaf in one ear, then it's not as big of a deal. We can adapt to that. In fact, we will adapt to whatever she is, and we will love her no matter what. I believe God gives you people and animals for a reason, a season, a lifetime, but there's always a reason for everything. And I believe that there are lessons in everything that God gives us. I don't know what our future holds with Daisy. Oh, 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 she responded really well. Okay, Gabby, Gabby, enough. Okay, so we just need to be as loud as pots. Oh, she hears that too. See, that's what I've been looking for. We've not seen that. Wait, hold on. Oh my god, I have the worst headache. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure our dog is not deaf. <laughs> I think she's partly deaf. I think she's deaf now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait don't stop looking at me. Okay. She's like, that is one crazy girl. She's hearing it. So yesterday I had a package arrive. These are things that I bought for Jacob's birthday and I forgot that I ordered them and they came late. But they are all the Five Night at Freddy characters and not only do they pose and you can play with them, but they have a light on them. So you push a button and they light up. So there's six of them here and I'm really excited for when I can drop them off at his house. It will not be this weekend though. This is my favorite guy. I like that one too. Jacob likes this guy. That's why I bought this set because it had this guy in it. It will be not, it will not be this weekend though because this girl will be trying a horse. Trying a horse? Also, the reason I shared that with you with Daisy is because that's what we do on the day by day farm. We share the good, the bad, the ugly, even though so many people will send us horrible messages telling us all the stuff they read on Google about how life for dogs with disabilities like hearing loss are devastating when in fact we know friends that have a dog that is deaf. We've known lots of the dogs, deaf dogs, especially older dogs, which is a different story. We had a deaf dog. Yeah, our, one of our dogs you was know. deaf. And we... And Abby helped her not fall in the pool. And, and I believe, you guys, that we are all the same. We are all equal. We all need the same things in life. We need love. We need acceptance. Yeah. We need to find our group of people. So we are down at the barn. Aw. Oh, she ate horse poop. so close. She ate horse poop and you still kissed her. That's a sign of a good mama. I feel like Gracie is the kind of girl that would like stomp on ponies. Get that fat belly. Puppies? Puppies. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, we are down at the barn. Daisy and I are going to clean up all the horse poop before the girls come out. Whoa. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go up to the house. Don't, don't, don't. Don't go out there. That's muddy. Yeah. Good job. Good girl. Let's see. Okay. So I brought some apple pieces down with me. So one of the things that could be that she's about, come on, Daisy, Daisy. She's never like had been able to have treats. Good girl, sit. Good girl, please like it, please like it. Oh, good girl. 
All right, now let's see what we can do now. As you can see, Molly's over there busy. I walk away. I think she's just gonna come to me. Daisy, come here. Sit, sit, good. But see, it's hard to tell because I got the treats and she knows I've got the treats. And this girl is definitely motivated by food. Okay, so now she's just begging me, following along. I gotta lose her and see if I can call her. Am I losing her? Oh, yeah. Daisy! Daisy! Molly! Daisy! Daisy, come on! Daisy! Come on! Daisy! Daisy, come on! Come on! Daisy! Come on! Daisy! Daisy, stop eating the poo. Daisy, I got apples! Apples are better than poo. Come on! Daisy, come on! See, she could see me. So then she already knows what to do because we already oh, stay. She's very patient. She'll stay and she'll do paw, 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 like this. Remember? Paw. We haven't done it in a few days. Paw. Oh, no. Sit. 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 Good girl. She looks at my hands and she listens to my hands. Paw. Good girl. Here. She hears, see she's hearing Molly, but I don't think she, uh, I don't think she hears her that much until all of a sudden she hears her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Girls each have a pony that they're grooming. Is she all groomed? No. All right, so there's a problem with the halter. The nose band didn't do up. The bridle. The bridle. There's a problem with the bridle. You guys should know that I use halter and bridle it interchangeably. This part is too wide to go through. So we couldn't get it in. Well, I can probably do it if you bring it back up to the house. Anyway, Willow, you guys know Willow hasn't had a bit in her mouth for a long ever. <gasps> oh, and there goes the puppy. Come here. So this is what today is. It's about getting used to the bridle. So we bought a bridle a with bit, mostly a bit. Yeah, we bought a bridle with the set that we bought, you know, to help learn teach her how to line drive. She line drives really well now. She does a little bit better with with weight but we still need to work on that so today is all about getting used to the bridle and the bit poor mostly, girl mostly the bit yeah because i use a halter as a bridle yeah because on saturday no in the spring <laughs> she wants down she's like there's so much good poop i cleaned it all up missy oh she's like look at me i want to be friends with you <laughs> dizzy Anyways, in the spring we want to be ready. We want to be ready to to drive. Okay, listen, this is not as much fun as I thought it was going to be. See, she doesn't make any noise when she. Oh, oh. See, I can't let her go because she just runs in front of the horses. All right, watch out, Sophie. I'm letting her go for a second. Uh oh, right to Sophie. Like that was the stupidest thing. Right around the horse. <laughs> what the heck? So we start feeding her less. And instantly, she has more energy. I'm more. <laughs> Sophie. Come on, a horse is hurt. I don't like to have to be the one to tell you, but horses are not your friends. Come on. I hate to say it, but I almost wish we could go back to the sleeping stage. Wanna go back to the sleeping stage, Daisy? Huh? She's like, I will not talk to you. I always feel bad for ho for horses that have been not using a bit for a long time and then their mouth gets really uh, not used to having the bit in it and then we put a bit in. Like that's gotta be the awfulest thing. All right, so in terms of blankets, I have a, uh, a lightweight or an insulated rain sheet, but this looks like a lightweight, so it's purple. Is that, or is it a medium? Is this Stella's main blanket? No. We have that one too, I and mean, that one might be ripped. Yeah, see that? That is ripped. I think I was thinking that was the only rip that I could sew that. I definitely could sew that. I should sew that. So, are those the only two blankets that I had for Stella? Where did you let the dog go? Oh gosh, I lost the dog. No, we did not. Nope, we did not. So, I have the purple one for sure. And then who's insulated? Is this a winter one or it's? That's Storm. 
I don't even know what we have. And then the winter, winter, winter. We have the three winters. Oh no, Finny's got his own winter. And we have all these, did we miss a blanket? Okay, so this is Finn's winter. Yeah, like we can't figure out all these blankets that we have. Let's see, hold it up there. Let's see who it fits. It, I, is it a, is it? It is pretty. Yeah, I don't ever remember buying that. What size is it? 72, it's a finny. So is that rain? Yeah, it is. All right, so we have a few, we have a few rain sheets then. So all of our horses have their own hay bag for the trailer and this is mine. Let's take this down. So that is my hay bag. A lady at our old, old barn gave it to me and I like it. And I think I'm going to fill this if I bring home my horse. I think this will be her hay bag. So there's another purple blanket. So that's a rain sheet. So I have a purple rain sheet. These all need to be washed. And I have a purple winter blanket. And then, and then I need to sew this or get a new winter blanket. Storm. Yeah, so it'll fit her because she's the same size as Storm. Hi guys, it's time to announce the winner of the strawberry kiwi treat Thanks. giveaway. And Gabby's gonna pick the winner now. Hey, who did you pick? Ella Robinson. Ella Robinson. Done. You don't even know how much I want those strawberry kiwi treats. All right, Ella Robinson, if you can uh, email Laura your details and we'll get those right out to you. So for our next giveaway, we're gonna, it's our last set of treats to give away and this is what you can win. These are from Muffin Around Pet Treats. These are from Muffin Around Pet Treats. And they are little muffin cupcakes with... Those ones are cactuses, cactuses and llamas. Cactuses and llamas. And forest and, uh, animals. Animals. Yeah. Squirrel. Yeah, a squirrel, and an owl. Fox. Yeah. And that looks like a badger. And a set of paw print cookies. Woohoo! We love paw print. From Horse Muffin Around Pet Treats. And if you could follow them on Instagram, Muffin Around Pet Treats, or on Facebook, and click done. Come back to our channel, click done in the comments below, and you're entered into those treats. Simple as that. Anyways, that's it for today's video. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?